Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I am going to be painting this little glass vasey thing. It's, you know, not very big. Now this came filled with lollies from my girlfriend's 40th and um, I've been sitting on my mantelpiece unpainted looking quite pretty and making a statement and blah 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 and yeah, time for that to change. <laughs> and what I actually thought was they would look quite cool sitting on my bathroom counter with a single flower in them. I've got two of them, so I'm going to paint them very different so that I can change up my bathroom whenever I feel like having a... Or put them in different rooms. Totally easy. So to start this one off, um, I'm going to do the same colours as I did the... Um, What's that thing called? Soap dispenser in the live video recently. Um, just because then I can have them there together and they'd look pretty cool. Uh, so those colors, now what I'm using, just so that you guys all know, is this Pabo Porcelain 150 paint. Now what this is, is a um, paint that's been designed to be baked after you've poured it and let it dry for 24 hours and then it becomes dishwasher safe so my assumption is that if it's dishwasher safe it must be sit on a bathroom sink safe that's my interesting point of view we'll have to see about that um so what colors am i using i am using lapis blue Ivory White. This one is called Opaline Pink. And it's kind of like a purple pink. It's quite cool. And I am using this one, which is Marcella Yellow. Marcella. Marcella. If I'm saying that wrong, please forgive me. Because I'm, you know. I'm a Kiwi. I'm not in it. Um, I'm not from France. So I'm going to use one of my bent tuna tins. Um, these are great for pouring out of. I wash them out and reuse them time and time again, hence why there's paint all over them. But uh, what they're really good for is having some. Um, being able to be folded and not break. I find a lot of plastic containers, when you try and squeeze them to make a nice pouring thing, they snap. So if any of you have any suggestions about where I can get ones that don't do that, I'd be super, super grateful. Now, uh, I have no idea whether these paints have got silicon in them. I really don't remember. I would have to go back through the videos from last time I used them and check them out. This one is very, very nearly empty. So as you can see, maybe, maybe not. It's just slowly dribbling in there, but I do have another pot. So we're going to go with that. But I just thought, well, I might as well use up what's left in the pot. And that way, I don't end up Oh, that's it. That'll do. So, I've got that in the bottom. I'm going to put just a dash of white. you don't need a lot of this paint well a we're working on a 3d situation so it's just going to run down anyway and b why would you waste paint 
these things aren't cheap by the way and you'll notice that I am just using the paint straight out of the container um, and because I have no idea whether or not I have silicon in I'm going to grab my silicon and just put I'm hoping you guys can see this a couple of drops one is on the back there and one is on the side over there and just going to let those be under the next round of paint so just gonna a bit more paint bit more paint and a bit more paint now this stuff sits on top of each other really really nicely and does not mix in very much at all so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this little stick and just stir just a little bit I just eh sure ah I'm gonna lose it if I tip it up Sorry guys, let me tip you up instead. You're going on a trip. On a little magic trip. Just a little bit of a stir in there. And now let's pop it back down so you can see what I'm doing. This is going to be quite fun because you're going to be able to see what's going on. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to pour from the top. And just let it run down and see what it creates. One of the things I've found working with 3D objects, if you've got a pretty base that you're pouring onto, like if you're not trying to cover something up, if you want to just leave it as runs, it can actually it can actually just be a glorious mess of runs. If that's what you desire. Just like that. You know what that reminds me of? Is if you had been melting candles. You know that whole melt your candles and just let the wax drip down. Ouch, come on. I know there's more paint in there. Here it comes. No, don't run down there. Okay, run down there then. Now, I want to see what you guys can see color wise. Well, that's better. So, am I loving it? Not really. What aren't I loving about it? Mm. Well, I think mostly it is the yellow not a fan of it so what I'm going to do is grab that stick grab this run over paint and just help it cover 
a little bit more. Do you ever have places where you're like, oh, I like that one square inch and the rest of it's hideous? <laughs> I quite like that one there. That one square inch there. Let me zoom you in. That's quite funky. But the rest of it, not a fan. So let's smear this around a bit. Refill our pot and give it another shot without the yellow. It's interesting when I'm willing just to go oh somebody will love it I'm willing to receive a lot different results than if I'm trying to do something specifically for me have you ever noticed that do you have a similar response system in your world if it's for me I've got to love it it's got to be perfect around a little bit more <laughs> now I have this sitting on a little plastic container and underneath I've taped some little bits of wood just to give it a little bit of height so but I don't think I taped enough because it's not quite sitting up completely off the ground Still sitting in puddles. You know what's funny? I actually knew that this was going to end up happening. Because I got out my little, my little pot of leftovers. And this pot I use um, when I've got anything left of this glass paint, of uh, this porcelain paint. Put it in that pot and it makes a yucky sludgy colour but you can use it as this bottom layer if you wish to create that first actually now that that's dribbling down there that's looking quite funky let's open that up for you this is looking funky funky little monkey right Let's put some more colour in there. So, a bit more blue. A bit more pink. A bit more white. No yellow this time. Pink. Blue. Alright, how are we going for colour wise then? Again, just a little stir. Uh oh, I can hear an aeroplane about to take off. Let me just go and shut the door. Let's see what we can create now. So I'm just kind of forcing it to go down the shoulder of the bottle. A 
there's areas of a bottle of this shape that just won't naturally get covered if you just go round around rim round around rim 